Hey, Sam and Jack, this is your grand uncle Tim coming to you from New York, New Jersey. And I want to introduce you to your new Anglo CG40 concertina. So I'm going to tell you a couple things about it. One, you don't want to be pushing it or pulling it without always pushing at least one button, such as this button here that lets the air in and out. Otherwise, you're just going to weaken the bellows. Next thing, uh, the, the adjustable hand grips. If you need to poke another hole in it to make it so it fits your hand better, that's totally cool. Um, I'm sending off some documentation, including this thing, that shows you where all the different notes are gotten. And it's, it has initials P and D. P is for press and D is for draw. Now, one important thing to remember is that sometimes you can get the same note, say this D, by drawing, you can get over here by pressing. And that's important so that you don't run out of air when you're playing a song, such as something like the National Anthem. I know from experience that i got to start with it way out or I'm going to run out of space. happens is you have to plan ahead and give yourself lots of room if you know that it's one that's got a lot of press notes. Uh, on the other end, say, uh, Red River Valley has a lot of draw notes. things you can do. If you're on something that ends like with a push note and you've got this button over here that allows you to push it, so on the last note I can be pushing the note and pushing that, pushing the note and pushing that. So what I get to do is make noise and also either push it in or pull out. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. In the songbook we got Irish music, we got miscellaneous, we got patriotic, we got religious, we got Christmas tunes. So you can read music, you know how the Christmas tune is supposed to sound. On something like the Irish music, when I'm going to learn one of them, one of the things I do is I try and figure out the sheet music, and then I go to iTunes and I play it on iTunes so I know what it's supposed to sound like, and that helps me get it right. Okay? So, um... What you got is an Anglo, not a English. And English is the one where you push a note, and then when you pull a note, you get the same note. This is an Anglo. It's called a CG40. C is the top row of buttons is your C scale. The next row of buttons is your G scale. It's called a 40 because you got a total of 20 buttons, and each one makes two notes. So you got 40 notes. And the only downside is you don't have like a B flat, so you can never play rock and roll on this one. But when we all get better, we're going to get one with another row of notes up at the top and you get your accidentals. So this one, the only accidental you got, you got an F sharp, but otherwise they're all natural notes. So I wish you well with the concertina, with the instructions, and um, you know, if you need any help, give me a call, send me an email, I'll send you another, email, uh, another video, and I look forward to seeing how good you guys get with this. So talk to you later.